guys, it's Missy here. Well, Missy here. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. So today I'm here with Rizzy. And we are doing another tattoo video. Yes. Yeah, so the last tattoo video we did of TikTok is very good. Very, very good. I don't know about you guys, but we've seen this on our For You page. Uh, uh, DIY henna tattoos. I mean, my binge just says I've seen it a lot on my For You page. <laughs> we got, we saw two different ways of doing this. One was with Kool-Aid and water, and one was just zero calories. And then there's one with glue and food dye. So basically, we're gonna test something though. So we're gonna be doing the normal glue and food dye and water and Kool-Aid to see which works better. And then we're also gonna do we're gonna try putting Kool-Aid and glue and to see what how that works. So let's start. Let's do this one first because it's yeah. Um, yeah. You know what this reminds me of? What? The cotton candy thing. Wow, look at that. Uh, so you want it to be a little thick. I think this is not thick enough. I think we try add a little bit more. Yep. So what we might do, because some of the person they had, they had a stencil. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to empty out some of this water, and then we're going to put, is that the rest of the pack? Or no? <laughs> that was the whole pack? Oh. Well, huh, we have a bit of an issue. So you can, they, you can mix it in another color. They had a stencil. So what I think we're going to do, because we can't just like, put this on our skin, we might have to grab some sort of stencil or... Um, yeah, I'll get a stencil. We have it in our bin. So we're probably going to get a stencil. We basically, we found a old stencil book of a little thing we used to do when we were younger. Don't remember exactly what it is, but that's what it is. So basically, we don't actually have a brush. We have this. So I don't think this is going to work. Oh, actually, no, it kind of works. So basically, I don't think this is going to work. You have to like, yeah, this is not going to work. I don't think... So we're gonna keep it on. We're gonna keep it on for a little bit. Uh, we don't really know. It's this is this Kool-Aid one is really most of the testing one of this one. We're pretty sure the other one works. But you know what? We're gonna see. So this is definitely more of a test here. Okay, so we took off the stencil. You can see it's there. You can see the pattern a little bit. It got a little messed up over here. We haven't wiped it or anything, but Kool-Aid stain. So it seems to be okay. Uh, we're gonna try one more time, but making it a little thicker, so maybe it'll stay in place longer. But you can see the design. The design is actually there. Okay, so we got more of a sticky stencil with these tattoo things. So now we're gonna do. We're gonna put a maybe. little. Maybe. We're gonna put some of this red stuff in. The red. We have red powder now. Uh, we're gonna put some red powder in here, and then we're gonna also put a little bit of water in and see what that does. And we're gonna take a little bit of our blue water because why waste water? <laughs> put this in here. We're just gonna mix it all just so it's thick enough so it doesn't like run all over the place. Okay, so this is definitely a thicker. It's so darker. It's definitely darker as well. All right. Okay, we're gonna put this on here. Which you want this one? Yeah. No, not either one. So we're doing a red shamrock. Uh, so this is definitely a little thicker. Thick boy. Uh, it is darker too. Uh, the other one was more of a liquid and wasn't it saying good. it smells so good. So we're going to let that sit for a little bit and we'll see. It, was, it should dry pretty quickly because we have the fan on. We'll see how that works. Yeah. Oh no, it's dripping. No. Okay, so this is definitely, uh, it's not the greatest so far. We're going to have, oh, it's definitely staining. Uh, okay, it's so... Like blood. <laughs> good. So the next thing you... So the, the next one, which is one that works for almost the always works, is the glue one. So basically you need glue <coughs> and a food coloring of your choice. Let's, uh, let's just do, um... So basically we didn't have... Oh, we wanted to do blue, but we didn't have... We had, like, this gel green. And we just have, do like, red. Um, I suppose we do green. Green? Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna do green, which is the next closest color to that, I guess. Uh, so we're, you just put some drops of green in. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> if you want to like make it brown, you can make it's like five block, five drops of red, five drops of green, five drops of blue, or something like that. So really, guys, you do not need this much. We used this is such a big bin. And, okay, so for now, for this, you do not need a stencil for this one. Whatever. So we're just gonna do like a little. Uh, we're gonna do a, a little heart because why not? You just kind of draw it on yourself. You can make dots if you want. Uh, some of the red is getting in here, so there might be a little bit of red staining, uh, which is okay, I guess. Uh, uh, also, this is very thick. Uh, it does not need to be this thick. The, the thicker it is, the longer it takes to dry. I realize that I'm screwing this up a lot now, and my heart is a... What is that? Uh, if you guys have, like, if you guys want some <laughs> cool designs to do, uh, some, I suggest you draw it out on pen, with pen, I mean. 
uh, we, we might do some little cool designs in a second. It looks like blood. So that's what I got. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't. Oh no, I'm Mizzy. She just wiped it off, and it, like when she wiped it. it <laughs> <laughs> that was our tripod that you needed to double across the floor. <laughs> oh no, let's see. Oh, he, he's okay. Like when it's getting ready to peel off, that's basically what it is. Mizzy's still struggling over here. I'm still trying to figure it out. And then this foot. Mizzy, apparently her foot's being abused. Like, we'll do a little, let's do a little star on yours, right? Yeah. Sure. The cute little star of homes, guys, is not her foot being affected. It's that, oh, that's the alien. She's, what the hell? It was <laughs> fine, Mizzy. Okay, so these are uh, done. So we're going to peel them off just like glue. The three to five minutes is how long you let them dry for. Uh, then again, this is, has not been on our skin for that long. But you can see that it has started to do that. I think with the darker color would be better. We might want to try like mixing some colors together to get a darker color like black or something. Uh, definitely. This is the, but you can see, you can see where we're going with this. It looks kind of cool. Mizzy's <clears throat> just going to chill over here. So we added some more red and then we added some more green and we got a darker brown. So we're going to put this on our skin now. Now it's brown, so it'll, I think it'll be a little darker and maybe stay up a little better. I'm about to peel this off now. Look at that, guys. Look how cute that is. It's a little wet still. I can definitely see that now. So Mizzy's gonna draw something on me. Oh no. Oh no. What are you doing? No, Mizzy, what the hell? Thank you. What the hell? <laughs> this is why I don't trust you. It's supposed to be a circular moon. <laughs> when does a moon look like that? When it's a full moon. That's a circle! <laughs> yeah, a circle is when the full moon happens. Okay. What are you doing, Mizzy? This is the full moon. That's, that's a circle! It's a moon. It we is. only get a sun. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Mizzy, what did you do? Beautiful. Oh, it's dripping. What did you do? What the hell? What was that <laughs> for? So, we are going to now do Mizzy. We're going to do a nice little henna thing. We're gonna do a sun as well. We're gonna do like a little dot as a circle. You guys, I suggest you get some sort of henna tattoo from Pinterest or something, and then draw it on your skin with pen or something, because you then you'll you'll avoid disasters like the one Mizzy did on my hands. <laughs> cool. So we got that. So her star's ready. You ready, Miz? Mm -hmm. Let's peel it off. Uh, it is actually not ready, Mizzy. <laughs> oh no. So if it's a little, if it's liquidy, we obviously, our thing is very thick. Uh, if it's liquidy like this is, we don't suggest you pull it off like I just did either way. So you can see the one in my hand. These all, these turned out pretty good. Um, there's very dark, this one. Mizzy, what are you doing? Bad girl. <laughs> uh, so you can see this works out pretty well. Okay, so the final thing we'll be testing is Kool-Aid of glue. So we're going to pour this in. We're going to do what? And we're gonna mix this. Mix this in. A little harder to mix into glue. The glue is already kind of dry a little, so I should have probably mixed up the glue before we did this. So we have this here. We're gonna. We, this is what it looks like now. Okay. So behind. now we'll do Mizzy's foot again. We'll do a heart. So it's kind of just. Well, you know what? We're making an apple because that seems to be what's going on here now. So we're gonna kind of spread this over here now. That ain't good. Okay, so we put this little brown stemmy boy here. Look at that, it's so cute. So we're gonna wait for this all to dry now. Her dots for this are ready. It seems like actually not all of them are ready. So we might wait a few more minutes. You can see like if there's like, if there's like some like still liquid inside them, like this is probably almost ready. Um. So you can you can see though where it's coming at here. It is of course um, other people have had it darker than us. Blue seems to work the best. Uh, definitely if you put more on, the darker it'll be. The longer you keep it on for, as a normal henna. So look at that. You see that? That looks so cool, right? Look, that was a nice dark one. Uh, here, let's see. 
that is cool. This, these are these last ones are coming out pretty good actually. Uh, ooh yeah, oh yeah. Um, that still had a little bit of stuff in it, but it's okay. Oh my god, I think if you just like let it dry after you take it off, it should be okay. Oh no, wow, that is. Wow, yeah, a lot of this isn't ready yet. Um, Missy's son seems to be. I think yeah, if you just wipe, if you kind of like rub it too, it should be able to just kind of yeah come off a little bit any residue. So yeah, this works. This worked. Um... <laughs> so yeah, this one works good. So these are the original ones. They're good. This is also another original one. The black, the brown. My apple. Your apple. This is the one that we tested. Uh, it doesn't seem to be ready yet. We're gonna give it a little bit more time before we test it out. It looks dry. We think. We think. The, the, the thing actually looks a little... Still a little, like, there's some liquid in there. But you know what? We'll try it. We'll see how this works. Also, by the way, guys, you cannot use paint. We're actually saying stain. You cannot use paint because it does not stain that well. So that, that's what the back of the apple, the bottom of the apple looks like. It's okay. Uh, definitely, it was definitely a little better than the original Kool-Aid thing. So if you're going to, you only have Kool-Aid and you want something to look like this, there you go. And then we have this and that. Obviously, that's kind of what it looks like now, guys. You can see, obviously, there is an apple there. Gotta give it, just wipe it off. It actually kind of came out pretty good, you know? So we're gonna try doing, with the some we have, we're gonna try to do like a more of an actual design. Uh, see, basically, in the shower, it just the next day, it did come off in the shower, so it does wash off if you guys want to make it wash off, um, but if you don't want to wash off, just don't wash your, uh, like, wherever you do uh, as often, or at least without soap, and you should be fine. So, uh, if you're going to do an actual design, so you print out your design or something, and then draw it with pen, like we said before, on your hands, because just so you have kind of a place to trace and stuff. So we have like the base scout line. It doesn't really matter. This is just more for like guidelines and stuff. I'm trying a little um little toothpick to see how this works. So this we got so far. It's pretty good for our first time, right? So it started to come off during the stream, so I just kind of picked it off. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Obviously, this pe there's pen underneath it, so you wipe it off or not do the pen or something i don't i think if you wiped it it should be okay just don't rub too hard and this will last they'll come off in the shower eventually um to so just if you want it to last a while just um don't scrub too hard or stuff you know so guys uh that was that basically before we end this video we'll say a few things our hands are messy right towel so basically uh yes it does work it does work it does work uh obviously if you were more controlled or anything uh, the Kool-Aid does work, it just doesn't give you that dark of a color. And you yeah, so really... if you don't want a dark tattoo, then... Yeah. Uh, the Kool-Aid and glue does work, uh, so you can do tattoo. It's not that deep, but it still is better than it was. Food dye. The thing that does work is the glue and the food dye. So with glue and the food dye, you just have the glue and food dye. If you want to put different <coughs> colors in to make more of a brown, like we did, you can go ahead. This is what the green looks like. Brown looks like this. Obviously, Mizzy's design is pathetic. Um, Thank you. But you know, it's it's still good. Uh, definitely, I suggest doing it. We uh, we might actually, our mom might actually give us a better tattoo design, and we might show you guys doing that. Either way, these last for about one to three days, depending how well you take care of them. If you want to take care of them, unless you fail horribly like this, they do come out in the shower. So you guys just scrub; they will eventually come out. Can't say much about the Kool Aid fingers. Don't know how long those will last for. Hopefully, it's a little more success with that. It did work, like we said. So yeah. go definitely try it out. Uh, I suggest for cleaning your hand. Oh. Definitely suggest a darker color. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new. And we will see you in another video. Bye. Bye.